Hi, if you're watching this video, you are probably interested in how note taking can actually improve performance by using simple techniques. And in this case, by using color for analysis. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and I have developed the next generation note taking and planning technique called Smart Wisdom. I've spent the last 20 years helping people manage information more effectively. So back to color analysis. Here is my plan of uh, what I wish to cover with you for this session and uh, I will work through it. So when I started using color analysis to help me manage knowledge more effectively real time, I, I was using lots of different colors and uh, you know, obviously I wasn't using big flip chart pens like this, but I was using smaller pens in packets. And I ended up producing notes that looked something like a Christmas tree, which was okay when I was studying, but actually when I got into the workplace, I didn't feel that comfortable doing. And apart from anything else, producing a set of pens, albeit smaller than this, and putting them on the table right from the outset, I didn't feel that comfortable. So the more I thought about how to improve efficiency, I came up with a few sort of simple solutions. I knew color would still make a real difference, but I wanted to simplify it. So the first thing I did is I went down to four colors. I went down to black, uh, blue, green, and red. And that was quite easy to do because I, I found pens that had this. Now here is one, it's a big pen. Um, you probably haven't seen it since you're at school, but this is a special pen. It's not any old big pen. This is a big pen for information athletes. Now with those pens, what I then did is I refined where, where and how I'd use color analysis. And really I got it down to two key things. The first one was using color analysis for content. And this was particularly when I was studying or I was doing research. So I would break the information up by color in certain blocks. So anything to do with operations might be in green, anything to do with the personnel might be blue. And that was okay for studying, but when I went into the using Smart Wisdom in the workplace, whether it was presentations or it was interviews or it was meetings, I wanted something that would help me move much faster, but also give me an extra edge in terms of analysis. So I refine the colors and I refine them for time analysis. Really simple, yet really powerful. So I'm gonna take those three, uh, three magical, sorry, four magical colors from this uh, container and I'm gonna show you what I did. So the first thing I did is that I used black for planning. And I would do that before, I'm gonna use an example of a meeting here. Um, so I'd do that before I'd go into the meeting. The next thing I would do is the actual content of the meeting, I would do it in blue. And then as I was going through the meeting, if there were any important ideas or anything important or any questions, I would quickly mark them with a code in red. So that would be codes. And then finally, can you guess what I've used the green for? Well, it's not that obvious. What I used the green for was actually afterwards. And that would be for reviews. So, a really, really simple system. Black for the planning, blue for the content, red for any codes, and green for reviews. So I talked about improving performance, and I'm gonna compare what this simple coding system enables me to do compared with, say, people who are listening. And it gives me an immediate competitive edge. Because people who are listening, say, 45 minutes into the meeting, their short-term memory has a limited capacity. So for them to be able to go back and think about what they intended to say at the beginning of the meeting 
will be virtually impossible. For me, I can do it in fractions of a second. As for people note doing sort of using regular notes, I still have a competitive edge. And the reason for that is that most people that I've watched taking traditional style school notes, they tend to do it in one color. And there's no clear sort of differentiation between the plan, the content, the all critical codes. And well, I wouldn't know if they were gonna do reviews afterwards. So I've got a competitive edge there. For laptop users, again, a big competitive edge. The problem with people using laptops, it's just a recording technique, but there are other more subtle things. So they can only see a fraction of the information they're uh, actually recording because of the screen size. And it's really not part of the laptop culture to differentiate different blocks of information. And as for using a specific color for codes, the speed at which we have to manage knowledge, particularly in meetings, would make that virtually impossible. So this simple methodology for those people in the know gives us a simple yet very, very effective competitive edge. And there are more subtle elements to this as well. So by doing a, a written plan that's clearly defined actually helps to build relationships because when I go into the meeting, people can see that I'm actually taking it seriously and I've done some preparation up front. How do I feel when I'm doing this? I feel pretty good actually. And sometimes I feel really, really good. So for example, I've got any, uh, some knowledge that I captured. This is from three months ago. Okay, three months ago and it's in my knowledge book here. And this was a, a one hour meeting. You can see the preparation up here. Hopefully you can, that's in black. Straight away, I can see what I captured in the meeting because that was blue. And then you can see action points. Now I'm looking at this sideways, but purely because of color, they jump out. And then finally, I can see the review here in green. This is three months ago. I can go back to this and be up to speed in about, I don't know, five to 10 seconds, maybe not even that. And as you can probably see straight away, this gives me a huge competitive edge against anyone listening, taking traditional notes, or using a laptop. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please, if you have enjoyed it, like the video, feel free to uh, comment, and also share with your friends and your clients and your colleagues who you think are looking for that extra competitive edge. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a Brilliant rest of the day. Oh yes, one final thing. If you want some more tips, I mean, if you've enjoyed this and you want some more tips on how to manage information, somewhere around this video, you will find a link to a tip sheet that I've put together for you.